Well, once again, here I'm out here making it another beautiful, great day. I have jetted all the way, not jetted, I drove all the way over here to the Space Coast, to the Space Coast Convention Center here in Cocoa Beach for my good friend, David Bradley of Roadhouse Entertainment. He's got a big Horrorville convention going on. This is his first annual, and what enticed me, not only were friends for many, multiple years, I, I, at least 10, and um, he has three actors from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. If you, That's one of my classic favorites of mine, and I can't wait to get in here and maybe we can get some of them on camera, talk to them, and uh, I'm excited, and my friend Tampa Jay, he's supposed to show up. It might be a little late. Hopefully he does. I can get to see him, chill for a little bit, show you around, head back to Clearwater. I got a lot to do. I'm working on a lot of projects, but it's fun. Keeps me driven and keeps me going, and I appreciate you watching, and that's coming at you right now. Right there on the floor, Gigi. Oh, my God. What are you doing in such a hurry, boy? Not even a... Slight bit of mild nudity. Hey everybody, this is John Schneider. We are the Grab Rack Brothers from the Planet Fuckathon. Hey, this is Butch Patrick from the Munsters. I'm gonna put you out of the jail and throw away a key. Make it a, Make great, it a great day! day because yes. you deserve it! Yes, you, you do! You deserve it! You deserve a great day! Well, here we are going to go into the Horrorville Convention, Comic Con. There's a big Seat of Chucky replica here at where I got my media pass. Hello. Welcome to Horrorville. We're going to go check it out. We're going to enter the convention hall. I hear Tampa J is in the house somewhere. Where is he at? I don't know. We're going to find him. Lots of cool things in here. Even some cosplay going on. Look at this. Love the costume. Looking good. Oh, here, creepy clown, creepy clown. He's going for a home run. He's gonna hit my camera. I'm gonna have to buy a new camera. Oh my God. Oh God. Uh oh, looky here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm being attacked now. This is awesome. Shh, be quiet. Three of the actors from the original Chainsaw Massacre are here at Horrorville. John Dugan, who played Grandpa, and you got Alan. Uh, once again, I can't pronounce the last name because I need hooked on phonics and William Vale over here. The original, the original movie, which is a classic. Here I have found Tampa J for real, I believe. No, no, it's, it's called Stark Papers. He is it's looking at some artwork got the and he doesn't even up. know he is on camera. Oh, hey, what's up, it's Scott? a Tampa J day. Hey, buddy. Tampa J day, right? Yeah, it's a, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a Scott the Tourist Trap day. Yeah. And not. I feel trapped. <laughs> <laughs> and here is the table of Don Sheridan of Scary Movie. That's right. And he looks real scary. You look really scary. Uh, it's getting scarier here. I think I said Dave. It's I mean, Don. It's Dave. Uh, it could be Don. You uh, never know. Because I got my friend Don Shanks' name and I've been uh, talking about him. So. Love Don. Yeah, Don's a great guy. Don loves me. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> is there a name for the show? What is this? Uh, tourist Trap. Tourist Trap. Yeah. What's up? It's Dave Sheridan from Scary Movie, and you're watching Tourist Trap. Things are about to get creepy once again here at Horrorville. Oh, look at this. I love it. Love it. Love it. Oh. And be very quiet. They're going to look for victims. They have an Iron Man costume out here. They're having a cosplay competition here, and Roadhouse Entertainment is going to give out awards for the costumes here in attendance this afternoon and some nice looking trophies. I am here with John Dugan here at Horrorville. He was grandpa in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre and we're going to talk to him real briefly. I've been chatting with him off camera but we're going to talk to him real brief briefly about how long it took him to do the makeup and what the experience was. Hey you know when I got the call to do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre I was doing a children's play for the summer at the Goodman Theater in Chicago called the uh, Terry Little Tales and uh, <laughs> dressed up in green and yellow tights, dancing around, singing folk songs and telling folk tales from around the world to children. Two shows a day, six days a week for like $225 a week, <laughs> which, uh, you know, you know what? 12 shows for 
$225, not very much for show. But I was getting paid, and, and $225 in 1973 was a lot more money than it is now, you know. And uh, so Kim Hankel called me, and uh, he was, uh, you know, I could make up a lot of shit, but he actually he was married to my sister, so it was pure nepotism, you know. He was a writer, I was an actor. It worked out. And uh, so I gave notice at the play, and uh, the producer was an old Russian woman, very well respected in the theater community, <laughs> uh, Bella Itkin. And she said, uh, when I told her about the role and you know, why I was quitting the show, when I went down to give notice, she said, Roddy McDowell would never have done Planet of the Apes if he hadn't been an established actor first. So before I even did the film, I was compared to Roddy McDowell. You know? Then after the film came out, Roger Ebert compared me to Dustin Hoffman and a little big man. <laughs> you know, he played the old, the old Sam or old Joke or whatever. <coughs> With a lot of age makeup on. So, you know, I stand in pretty good stead, you know. <laughs> As far as actors go, I think, you know, not bad for your first feature film role. But uh, I got, you know, I had to be down there like three weeks before they started shooting me so they could design my makeup. So how long did it take to do Grandpa's makeup for... To do it the first time they applied it, it took about seven hours. And then I worked for like 10 or 12 hours on top of that until we wrapped it. The second time, and last time I put it on, they had it down to about five hours because they knew what they were doing. And, uh, um, but uh, we worked for like 20 something hours. It was, uh, you know, this day. There, the dinner party scene, you know, the famous grueling long dinner party scene. So, you know, I, were, I was in makeup, from the time I sat in the makeup chair on that last day that I was there, to the time I got my makeup off and everything was well over 24 hours. And, you know, it may have been like 27 hours or so. And it was brutal. The sun was coming up the next day, and we were still shooting. And I went outside to try to catch a breeze, and you can see my, my tie is kind of, you know, floating there. And uh, just trying to catch a breeze, and, uh, and uh, the guy who designed my makeup, Dr. Barnes, was a plastic surgeon actually, so what he did was just, I know I'm digressing, but he just aged my face. And he said, if I, if I actually live to be like 115 years old, I'm going to look like that. Which, when you're 20 years old, is kind of creepy to know that, you know, what you're going to look like. But he had one of the crew bring my chair out, and then he started snapping photos. He, he took this photo. I appreciate you talking to me. We could talk all day, I think. Oh, yeah, I, I think, could. I, and could I, do, I do appreciate you talking to me, and it's very interesting. And, okay. And you have a great day. And... Um, <laughs> um, no problem, Scott. Hopefully no problem. we'll run into each other again. So long, everybody. Thank you. Tampa Jay's out here doing his thing, like me. He's going to attack by a clown. There's a cool mask display here. Vendor has all these cool horror masks from everywhere from Michael Myers to the Joker to just about anything you want. It's awesome. They do some custom masks here. They have a custom Michael Myers mask. It's the last one he's got, he said. What I like about this this here vendor is the uh, Gremlins, and if you remember in the Gremlins, they were burglars, and he's got that set up. I just think that is just so cool. They also have these very cool air fresheners. They got a Michael Myers air freshener and a leather face and all kinds of cool stuff. Anybody up for a Scooby snack or maybe a Scooby mask? That's neat. This here I have spotted some yummy goodness uh, candies. It's M. I, can, I need hooked on phonics. It's M's Cryo, Cryo, Cryo Treats. Is that it? Cryo? Yeah, once again, hooked on phonics hasn't worked for me yet. So tell me about this yummy candies and quickly your, your website where they can get, buy some of this stuff. Our website is www.mscryotreats.com. Everything is freeze dried. It's all freeze dried candy like astronaut food. I got these freeze 
dried nerds ropes and they melt in your mouth and they're very cool they got one called asteroids there's galaxy clusters um, they got some sugar-free stuff mercury duds that's like um, uh, milk duds and birthday cake peanut butter f-bombs meteors meteor meteors 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 i can't hooked on phonics again caramel flavored and uh astronaut coffee they have a big selection check them out online let's go back to the 80s i found alf i have an alf alf mask that's neat i found something that caught my eye the retro vintage mask remember the plastic mask that you wore at halloween plastic you could barely breathe through they have those here I remember wearing those as a child. Well, this has been fun here at the Horrorville Convention, Comic Con type thing here at the Space Coast Convention Center in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Uh, my good friend Dave Bradley, David Bradley with Roadhouse Entertainment. Check him out. Uh, any event needs you need or talent uh, to appear. Good to see my friend Tampa J. Always good to see him. I've had a great time. I'm going home. I've got things to do, people to see, things to complete and accomplish. Uh, sorry it's out in the parking lot, but it's not a pretty, pretty day. It's kind of overcast, even though I got my shades, but that's my trademark here. Uh, not sure when I'll have another video up. I know I got one more coming besides this, but uh, it. It might be a few weeks before I can actually get some content. I've got a, a big task ahead of me right now. Can't say anything and don't want to say anything, but uh, everybody's busy and uh, keep it between the ditches, as they say in Hazard. Yeah, I talk about the Hazard a lot, but that's my buddies, that's my friends. And uh, this is the first annual on this Horrorville, and uh, impressed to see actors from the one of my favorite horror films, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original one. And I talked longer than I probably should have, but uh, not only was I a talker, but uh, John Dugan, who played Grandpa, was very cordial with me. And uh, we talked at great lengths. And I even seen him on the way out, and I told him to have a great day, John. I said, be safe out there. He said, you did the same. We'll see you later. I'm like, yeah, hopefully we'll meet up again one day. You never know. So it's good to contact and meet new people and make friends and have a good time. And you do the same, don't procrastinate. If you can do it today and you want to do it, do it now. Don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but don't know about tomorrow. And I don't like to really think about that. I try to be positive, stay positive, and that makes me happy. It puts me in my happy place when I'm thriving to be positive and doing fun stuff, showing cool things. I did buy me some of that candy, oh my gosh, and I was telling everybody in there to go check it out and I think the, the vendor loved that. So I like to help out entrepreneurs and local businesses like that and it's fun. Check their website out in the link. Um, and I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I need Hooked on Phonics. Yeah, I keep saying that, but I truly do. Um, but remember, go out there, make it a great day the best way you know how because you deserve it.